So today I'm just going to show you how I do some splatter techniques. Now I've drawn some, it looks like I've already done some splatter techniques, but that was with a white pen, um, a Sakura uh, jelly roll ink pen uh, to be precise. Uh, but you can add extra texture and just effective detail with some acrylic paint. I'll just add a bit of water in it just to make it more splatter. So I think I've got a little toothbrush there. It's not my toothbrush. It's a brand new one, just for this purpose. And uh, obviously an old rag thing, just in case. So let's, I'll just go and put some water in this. So I'll just put some water in that. Just want to mix it up slightly. Well, not slightly, just more. Just to make it fairly uh, milky coloured <laughs> you find any lumpy bits just squash them against the side so that's the artwork but before I do that I've got a, an old sketchbook that I can just test the back of and splatter before you know let's move the artwork over there so we need to just test it first. Oops. Yeah. Let's see that. Mm, a bit more mixing, I suppose. Just test, just apply it there. And really, you want to guard against uh, dropping big blobs like that because that'll just look shite. So, maybe give it a shake, it back in the tub, shake off any excess. It just requires some kind of experimentation with it, really. You know, different sort of splatters can see them there so yeah what we're gonna do is and uh having a rag is a good idea just to <laughs> wipe the table down and so we bring the artwork in and really i could use the rag as well just to sponge off a large amount of that if i didn't you know want too much on it. I'll probably do that. Squeeze it slightly. We can just start adding some, some little try and get a bit more, more paint. I think I've done it too watery. any excess you can do splatters here and there I wouldn't do it all the way through so that was slightly runnier than what I would have liked so what I'll, what I'll do instead is just dab a bit and just actually see See what it's like. That's slightly better. So there was no need to water it down. <laughs> so what I can do is maybe show you, and you can angle it sort of ways, maybe like. Um, Put it near the eyes or something, and like something's bursting out of the eyes, spraying. Just have a bit more. If 
there's some splatter, it doesn't really matter. You're having fun. That's what matters. Different textures on the background. Just adds a bit of interest, I think, to the you know drawing. Except you don't want them type of blobs on there. Let's make a mess. Actually, it is a lot better doing without water, so I don't know what I'm doing at the beginning. It's mainly experimental. As you can see, I haven't used this technique much, but... It does look effective, though. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that, just to... Um, Add a bit of interest to the drawings and things like that. Um, I might be ruining some drawings. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, see you in the next video.